This is the second tool can be used for scenario-based modeling, which is one of the unified modeling language. We need to discuss right now about activity diagram. The UML activity diagram supplements the use case by providing a graphical representation of the flow of interaction within a specific scenario. Um, by the way, class, um, this is for elaboration or elaborating the scenario or scenarios that you included in the use case diagrams. Um, I will discuss each um, symbol or each block that we can use for the activity diagram. First, um, the system function, um, it uses a um, rounded rectangle block. Um, for system flow, of course, we have an arrow. Um, for decision, we have diamond. For start and terminator, we have both circles. Okay? So if you can see this um, scenario base, uh, sorry, if you can see this, um, activity diagram, we still use the use case scenario select classes. Okay, again, we, uh, we are now in the scenario part where we will try to create an activity diagram for the select classes scenario. Okay, of course, we will start from here. Once um, it enters, uh, once it enters or it, once it um, uses our system it will go and enter the course to search this is for the select classes huh um, enter a uh, course to search then next display all sections for a course after displaying it um, the student can now select a class after selecting the class um, the student will encounter a condition the student may uh, if the students allowed in the class if it's no, it will prompt the student uh, for the reason for not entry to the class and it will go back again to display for all sections for a course. Then, if yes, um, if the student is allowed to enter or to select the class, um, it will go to add to list or add to class list. One moment. Okay, add to class list. After adding to class list, um, again, the student will encounter a condition. Um, if the student um, class schedule is conflict, if it's yes, again, it will prompt a schedule conflict and it will go back again to the display all sections for a course. Then if it's no, it will proceed to the process. Then um, the student can see the list complete. If it's yes, the student can go ahead and save the pre-enlisted classes. If it's no, it will go back to enter course to search. Okay, so basically for the activity diagram, you can barely understand this one because it was purely uh, is somewhat like the same uh, with your um, flowchart. Okay. By the way, um, just like to emphasize in the activity diagram, um, the activity diagram elaborates the use case scenario to represent not just the flow of interaction, but also the logical flow of interactions within a specific scenario. Okay, hopefully um, the activity diagram is really clear to you all.